Europa cheerleading. We're here at Europa CrossFit. Europa judo. Strongest man. Europa bodybuilding. Europa arm wrestling or pulling. Europa fencing. Europa martial arts for all ages. Europa wrestling. And we're here at Europa powerlifting. watching Extreme Power TV. Ah. Holy smokes! 535 pounds, it's a new record! Turn them on, three white legs! For more, more! <laughs> You're watching Extreme Power TV. Every Athlete's Edge and Inzer Design presents Extreme Power TV from Europa Orlando. Hey everybody, I'm Jay Adams. It is the APF Raw and Single Ply Nationals. Going to be a great day of lifting. Some very compelling matches in every weight division. And to talk about those matches, let's bring in power lifting veteran Eric Talman. Eric, how are you? I'm good, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's talk about uh, some of the matchups in Raw. What uh, stands out in terms of really tight matches in this flight? Well, in the lightweight division, you've got Tony Conyers and Brian Schwab. Tony Conyers, he is an excellent veteran, over 50 years old. It's like the guy is, it's like wine, he just gets better with age, and, and nobody seems to beat him. Right, and what about some of the heavier divisions? Are any compelling matchups there? Scott Weech, I, I don't think there's anybody right now that can beat him in Raw Power. Yeah, he is looking untouchable. We've already started over there, so it is the Raw and Single Ply Nationals from Europa, Orlando. You're watching, You're watching Extreme Power TV. You're watching Extreme Power TV. Ah! We've got the female Raw action now, and that's April Mathis, who won the Raw Unity meet last year. Out of Tampa Barbell, big opening attempt of 578 pounds. She's dropping down. She stands up, looked pretty easy. She's back in the rack. But I think that squat was high. Yeah, it was, it was. Judges said no lift, no lift on that. Second attempt, Jen Rotzinger, 270 pounds. Makes it look relatively easy. She strains through the sticking point, and that's a good lift. Taylor Stallings, 402 pounds. Looked very easy for Taylor. Nice lift. April Mathis now, fearless, bumping the weight up to 611 pounds on her second attempt. Look at the intensity on April. A lot of weight on the bar. She's down in the hole. She strains up, stands up with it. Judges give her the rack command. Wow, that's just like the first lift. It's high, no good. Jen Rotzinger, final attempt, 275 pounds. She's deep enough. If she can stand up with it, this will be a good lift. Ah, just a little too much today. Jen ends with a 270 pound squat. Now Taylor Stallings, 435 on her third. She makes it look very easy. I think Taylor had definitely 10 or 15 more pounds in the squat. Now April Mathis, this is her third attempt. Folks, she's the favorite in this competition. If she doesn't get this squat, she's out of the competition, which would just leave the door wide open for Jen and Taylor. She can't take the weight down in the sport of powerlifting, that's not allowed. So she's repeating the 611 that she did on her second attempt. Folks, let me tell you, I've been where April is. It is extremely hard to come back and get your third squad after you've missed your opening two. She's down in the hole. It looks like she has stood up with it. Let's see what the judges say. Wow. Look at the sigh of relief on April. That's a good squat. She's still in the competition, 611 pounds. Jen Rotzinger, 176 pound bench press. Excellent technique for Jen, makes it look very easy. Good lift. Taylor Stallings now, a little bit narrower grip, more triceps involved in this. 259 pounds, very easy. Nice lift for Taylor. April Mathis now, opening up with 391 pounds on the bench press. Just a huge amount of weight on the bar. Look at that control on the way down. And a lot of power and explosion on the way up. Good lift for April. 
Jen Rotzinger now bumping the weight to 182 pounds. Folks, I want you to take a look at Jen's technique because it's excellent. When that bar comes out of the rack, watch how short the distance is from the bar to her chest. See that? Seven or eight inches. That's excellent technique. Great lift. 182 pounds for Jen Rotzinger. April Mathis with that patented slow eccentric 413 pounds rockets it up. You can credit Tommy Fannin out of Tampa Barbell with that technique with April. Jen Rotzinger now 369 pounds on the deadlift. She's at her knees. All she's got to do is roll her shoulders back and kick her hips through. I don't know if she's all the way to the top. The judge gives her the down signal. Let's see. Yes, it's a good lift. 369 pounds for Jen Rotzinger. Taylor Stallings now. 518 pounds. Conventional pull. It looked very strong. Lift is good. I think she's got more left in her. April Mathis now. 579 pounds. Locks her shoulders back. Knees look straight. I think that's a good, it is. It's a good lift. What was the best moment for you tonight? Oh, deadlift. I got no hesitation on that one. I mean, it took forever to lock out, and then the drum roll, please, for the lights. <sighs> Man, once that the second white went on, I was, I was ecstatic. I jumped probably 50 feet in the air. Uh, your thoughts on your performance here tonight? I need this performance. <laughs> Big time. So um, I broke the 165 in totals. Um, it was 1,200 by Robin Blankenship. I totaled 1,211 today. So... Huge squat for me, huge deadlift for me. It was a great day, so. Recapping the ultimate female lifters today, we've got April Mathis, who took the day at 585, Taylor Stallings in second, and Jen Rotzinger in third. I'm Tony Soto with Zumba, and you're watching and stream Power TV. Come on, people, I invite you. Yeah. Hi, my name is Dexter Jackson. You're watching Extreme Power TV. Your thoughts on the show so far? Oh, it's going phenomenal. We're having some great raw lifting. We're just getting into the single ply now. You're seeing the numbers are going to go way up. We just had some 800 and a 903 squat done just minutes ago. So you're really seeing some big time steel go down here today. This is the women's single ply event, and that's April Schumacher. 226 pounds on her second attempt. Notice she's also got knee wraps on. That's allowed in single ply, and that's a good second attempt for April. Kim Easton going to 276 pounds on her second attempt. Looks good. April Schumacher on her final attempt, 264 pounds. Looked very easy, and that's another good lift for April. Excellent squatting for April today. Kim Easton going up to 320 pounds for her final attempt. She's out of the hole, stands up with it very strong. That's a good lift. April Schumacher now on her second attempt in the bench press. April is a world-class raw bencher, showing it that she can do it both ways, both raw and single ply. That's a good 215 pound bench for April. Kim Easton for her second attempt calls 226. Gets the press command. Little bit of struggle there in the middle, but she locks it out for a good second attempt. April is going to go ahead and bump the weight up here for her final attempt. I believe she's calling 224 pounds. Oh, folks, you see that foot movement there? That's not going to be a good lift. You can't move once you've gotten the bar out of the rack. April brings the bar down. Uh, doesn't matter anyway, she didn't have enough strength. Kim Easton on her final attempt, 236 pounds. Very good technique to bring the bar down in the groove. She pushes it up and back over her eyes. Not enough tricep though to lock that out. April Schumacher, opening attempt on the deadlift. 292 pounds, looks very strong. I think she's got a little bit more left. Kim Easton, a little bit higher than April, 309 pound opening attempt. See those socks, folks? That allows the bar to slide up the body a little easier. Very easy for Kim for her opener. April Schumacher is now calling for 303 pounds. Ooh, I'm really surprised 
based on how 292 went up, that she didn't get that. Kim Easton going to 320 pounds. Very good sumo technique for Kim. That's a, that's a solid second attempt. Very good lift. Our top single ply female lifters today, April Schumacher first, Kimberly Easton second. This is Big Joe Norman setting up for a 1,003 pound squat. Now folks, he's wearing a single ply suit and knee wraps. What that allows him to do, it's kind of like extreme power lifting. It's gonna allow the lifter to handle more weight than they normally could without the suit. But don't be fooled. It isn't something as simple as using a suit to use more weight. You've gotta really know how to use that suit. Let's watch Joe sit back into that suit. 1,003 stands up with it. Look at the bar bend when he puts it away. That's a great squat for Joe Norman. Now let's go to his bench press, 622 pounds. Same deal here, he's wearing a single ply shirt. He gets the press command. Looks like a really strong lift. I think he had more in him. Excellent bench for Joe. Here's Joe's final attempt on the deadlift. Look at the quads from many years of powerlifting. Now this suit is gonna stop at about mid shin and all the way up, that's gonna be nothing but Joe Norman. So let's see if he's got enough on this. 710 pounds. He breaks the floor with it. It's to his knees. Let's see if he can kick his hips through, shoulders back. That's a good lift, folks. How fun was it to compete at such a big event? Oh, it's great. It's great. Karen actually throws a great meet. Um, I've been doing his meets for now probably about 12, 12 years. Um, love the APF. You know, he, like I said, it's class act. And uh, it's fun. Here with April Schumacher, who is kind of flaunting some cash that she just won. She's showing it off. Strutting, strutting large with 500 big ones. Congratulations, you won the single ply women's. Uh, how good did it feel to come up big tonight? It feels awesome. I do wish I would have done better. My, my lifts weren't totally up to par, but I'll be more prepared next time. And I still won on a bad day. <laughs> You're watching Extreme Power TV. Back to the men's lightweight raw action. This is Brian Schwab, world-class lifter, on his third attempt, 535 pounds, at an Orlando barbell. Makes it look very easy. Excellent lift for Brian. He's in the driver's seat now, going against legend Tony Conyers. Tony has called 507 pounds on his third attempt. If he hits this lift, look at that, showing some homage to his sponsor, John Enzer. If he hits this lift, it's going to be the second largest squat in the United States next to Eric Talmont's 512 at Raw Unity. He drops down. Tony stands up with it. That's a good squat. 507 pounds. That's one of the largest squats in the United States this year. Brian Schwab now. Second attempt on his bench press. 342 pounds. Brian is an excellent suited bench presser as well. Bar comes out of the rack. Brian's got the start command. Gets the press. That looks really easy. I think Brian's got a little bit more in him. Tony Conyers now, big bencher at 148. He's called 363 on his second attempt. This is gonna be one of the largest benches in the United States. He gets the press command. It rockets right up. That's really easy for Tony. I think he's got about 10 or 15 pounds more. Brian's final attempt on the bench press, 353 pounds. He missed this at Raw Unity. He locks it up, judges call. That's a good lift for Brian, 353 pounds. Tony is not to be outmatched. He's going 375 on his third attempt at a lighter body weight. Gets the start command, brings it to his chest. Very quick press command, locks it out. I think he even had more than that, folks. 375 pounds is a huge bench. Here's Brian's opening deadlift, 551 pounds. Brian's really been working on his sumo technique this last year or two, and he's really kind of come into his own in, in the deadlift here. Let's see what 551 looks like. He kept the bar really close to his body, and that's a great opener for Brian. I think he's gonna have a good day today. Tony Conyers going to 507 on his opener. Pretty light for Tony. Conventional stance, as you see, different from Brian's. Looks very easy. Tony Conyers, 507. Let's see what he goes to on his second. Brian has bumped the weight up from 551 to 584. 
Uh, it's it's a reasonable jump for Brian. I've seen him do this weight before. Um, he wants to keep that bar really close to his body, which he's done. That's a really good, really good deadlift. I think Brian might be good for over 600 pounds. Now Tony is called 584 to equal Brian. There's Jen Rotzinger right there, giving Tony some words of encouragement. As Tony's approaching the bar, folks, I'm going to tell you something. When you drop down a weight class, as Tony Conyers has done, it really takes its toll throughout the meet, especially when you get to the deadlift. So 584 is a weight Tony's done before, but let's see how that weight drop affects him on this second attempt here. All right? He starts the pull. He's having a little bit of trouble, but he does kick his hips through, shoulders back. That's a good lift. And right there, Tony Conyers paying homage to his Lord and Savior. He's a class act. Our Extreme View Cam is sponsored by Every Athlete's Edge. And this is Brian Schwab, third attempt, 623 pounds. Huge jump, just too much for Brian today. Now Tony's called 617, same result. Too much for both of these men. Excellent performances by both though today. Men's Raw heavyweight action here. Perry Ellis, newcomer to the scene, had a great performance at Raw Unity, opening at 716. Stands up. Looks good. Oh, he's shaking his head. Let's see. Judges say no. Scott Weech, opening attempt, 777 pounds. Down into the well. Little bit of trouble on that opener for Scott, but still a good lift. Perry's going to come back, repeat that 716. Look at the focus. Strain and throw it. He stands up with it. He doesn't like that one either, but that's a good lift. Scott Weech on his second, 810 pounds. Coming up out of the hole, no. That's surprising. Scott is normally good for that weight. 738 Perry, third attempt. He can really make some ground on Scott Weech here. Ooh, nope, he got forward, couldn't handle the weight. 810 again, Scott Weech. Repeating his second attempt. This is weight he's done, folks. I expect him to come back and get this. Wow, not enough there today for Scott. That, that The door's wide open for Perry Ellis. Second attempt on his bench here. 416 pounds. He's got a little trouble locking that right arm through. Judges say it's good, though. Scott Weech now on his second attempt. 524. Very slow and controlled. I... That's, that lift is good as well. Perry Ellis on his final attempt, 480 pounds. Woo, that's a very strong third attempt. He had more. Scott Weech now, 540, small bump up from that second attempt. Shaking a little bit on this. Gets the press command. Up, oh, Scott fought through it. That's an excellent third attempt. Perry Ellis on his opening deadlift here. 683, rockets right up. Excellent lift for Perry. Scott Weech now, 754 opener to kind of keep the gap. Stands up with it. That's a good lift. Scott's still in the driver's seat here. Perry Ellis going 733 on his second. Locks his shoulders back, kicks his knees through. Judges say that is a good lift. Scott's bumping it now to 783. This would pretty much seal it for the day for Scott Weech here if he can complete this lift. It's up and it's good. Perry's going to have to really pull a rabbit out of his hat on this third attempt. He's going 750. Let's see if he's got enough. Gets it to mid-level. Up. Oh, grip just gave out. Not there today. Scott Weech is going to go 810. Try to equal his deadlift at Raw Unity. Nope, not today. Congratulations. How good do you feel walking away with the belt? I feel pretty good. Didn't have the day I wanted to today, but I guarantee I'll be ready when it comes time to compete in New Orleans. You're the guy to beat now. Everybody knows that you're going to have a big target on you, and it sounds like you're ready to defend. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be training hard all summer long, uh, and I'll be ready. All right, Scott Weech, congratulations on winning it all. Thank you, sir. All right, brother. So there are your leaders. For today in the heavyweight division, Scott Weech takes the day and Perry Ellis in second with 502. Folks, we had a great time at this year's Orlando Europa. In the powerlifting, we got to see something we've not seen. Single ply lifters competing with raw lifters. So 
enjoy this montage of our trip to the Orlando Europa. The Ultimate Power Lifter belt is the only belt in the sport crowning the Ultimate Lifter. Follow the quest and watch the top men and women lifters in the world perform at sold out events. I'm Jay Adams. We'll see you next time on Extreme Power TV. watching Extreme Power TV. Ah! Holy smokes! 535 pounds, it's a new record! Turn them on, three white legs! Triple more! Woo! You're watching Extreme!